America's obsession with football starts at an early age. From the very first time a child puts on the pads and takes the field, there's a clear demarcation between those who can play the game and those who cannot. And as our young athletes grow, they yearn to play on bigger, brighter stages, earning their chance to showcase their skills inside cathedrals built around the hallowed gridiron. Well, for these next high school football players, they didn't have to wait long at all. In fact, some of them play in stadiums nicer than most colleges, and these kids can't even vote. The best high school football stadiums in America are coming up right after this. Bros, the math doesn't lie. Women absolutely prefer a man who takes care of his junk. It isn't just about the concept of personal grooming. It's about having the right tools to get the job done. That's where Manscaped comes in. If you're using old rusty plug-in clippers, do yourself a favor and throw that bit away. Cause you ain't getting Manscaped, you're getting Manscraped. Let me show you the proper way. Let's look at this fine piece of engineering. Do you see a cord? No. Their long lasting battery allows you to take these waterproof clippers in the damn shower with you. That's the move right there, no cleanup. Oh, you worried about these blades rusting? Guess what, Nancy boy? They are made out of ceramic and they don't rust. And when they eventually get dull, replacing them is damn easy. You can even get replacement blades shipped to you automatically with Manscaped subscription options where you can not only get all your blades replaced, but all your products like Crop Cleanser Body Soap, which is my favorite, sent right to your house without you getting up, lazy ass. So after this video, it's time to whack those weeds down and flex on yourself hard. Go to the link below, use my code five points and get 20% off and free shipping. Oh, did I mention the Perfect Package 2.0 comes with all this other kick-ass stuff? Again, use the code five points and we'll throw in the shed travel bag and ship it to you for free. Come on, it's time to live on the top flight of dick clippers, manscaped.com. Before we get started, there is some criteria. Pure capacity is not a determining factor, and I give preference to stadiums that house only one high school versus one that was built for an entire school district. These are ranked from lowest to highest. The only domed high school football stadium in the United States that serves one school exclusively, the Round Valley End Sphere is constructed out of wood. Opened in 1991, the 189,000 square foot facility can seat up to 5,500 fans for football and also serves as a venue for volleyball, basketball, and track. In 2015, the dome was closed due to water damage. Seriously, water damage in the desert? It was reopened in 2016. Mullet sporting Mark Gastineau is a graduate of Round Valley High School. Though probably the nicest facility on this list, the Star in Frisco goes early here as it is more of a showcase stadium for the town of Frisco versus a single high school stadium's home field. Opened in 2016 and owned by Jerry Jones, the building also serves as the Cowboys practice facility, hosts a pro lacrosse team, and was to be the site of the AAF championship game that never happened. The Frisco Independent School District has 10 high schools and they rotate the use of the star throughout the year. This is also where some shit posters got together nearby and ate on the football field. Unique field design isn't reserved solely for college football as the Diamond Ranch Academy Stadium has adorned its field with its namesake. The Institute is a residential treatment center and therapeutic boarding school and helps teens with a variety of issues, including ADHD. So it's the high school I should have gone to.
Another large stadium in Texas that is run by an independent school district. Alamo Stadium looks like one you will truly remember. <laughs> Though if this were a D1 stadium, I would probably make fun of it like a woman getting hit in the face with a blender at McDonald's. But then I remember that most high schools play on fields that look like they are in Chernobyl. The 18,500 seat stadium was originally opened in 1940 and used to host the Texas A&M slash Texas Tech college football rivalry from 1943 to 1950. The host of the annual Hall of Fame game, aka the first taste of NFL football for us addicted Americans after a long off season, this field received significant upgrades in 2016 and is now a modern D1 to NFL level facility. The field serves local high school Canton McKinley as well as Malone and Walsh universities. Late billionaire and former Saints owner Tom Benson obviously donated the money to renovate the facility which was formerly known as Fawcett Stadium. A fitting shrine to former Massillon High School coach, alum, and football pioneer Paul Brown, this large capacity high school stadium in Ohio has been standing since 1939. The Massillon Tigers have won 24 state championships and 9 AP national championships, so apparently there is a lot more winning at this Paul Brown Stadium than that other one in Ohio. Home of the private Catholic school Bishop Gorman in Summerlin, Nevada, Fertitta Field is way better than most Division II and even some Division I FBS fields. It's certainly nicer than nearby Sam Boyd. With upgrades funded by restaurateurs, casino, UFC owners, and Bishop grads, the Fertitta brothers, the stadium received huge upgrades and spawned three consecutive national championships and nearly a consecutive decade of winning the state championship. The stadium would rank higher if not for that complete ripoff of the Packers logo at midfield, which they can do since they are a high school. Form over function wins the day here as this century old high school football stadium sits beneath El Paso High School, nicknamed the Lady on the Hill. The school's features include marble floors and an opulent theater. It's unclear whether El Paso High student Robert Francis O'Rourke played for the football team, but I'm sure he probably dropped out of the program early. Not as impressive a facility as many of the others listed here, but location and views does matter, as the Stadium Bowl in Tacoma, Washington overlooks the Puget Sound while the adjacent Stadium High School, yes, that's the name of the school, looks over the field. Penn State, Texas A&M, and the Wazoo Cougars have all played college games here. Though the offset seating and old concrete bleachers probably aren't fun to sit in, as I said, the view is amazing. And now for the best high school football stadium in the US and A. The only thing better than this stadium is the football that's played inside of it, as since its opening in 2012, Allen High School has never lost a game here, a cumulative 31-0. It's hard to believe that this 18,000 seat facility is indeed just for a high school, as it confirms everything you saw about football in Texas from the movie and show Friday Night Lights is mostly true. Well, the fans supporting their team, that is. This stadium was temporarily closed in 2014 due to concrete cracking. It also has a a 75 by 45 foot large scoreboard with a 38 by 23 foot HD screen. Dear God. Nine NFL players went to Allen High, including some kid named Kyler Murray.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out manscaped.com and use my code five points for 20% off and free shipping. I'm five points vids and you made it to my next video.